Hey, this is Matt again, and this is going to be the last part of the basic tutorial. And basically, we're just gonna, you know, finish up this so we could actually call the game. And to do that, we kind of need an objective. So I thought we could just have this be try to collect as many coins as you can because that's nice and simple. So what I did is here I have a sprite for a coin, and it's just a yellow circle with a dollar sign in it, which works. And um, now I'm going to create a new object. I'm going to call this coin. Select the sprite coin. And then for this, we're going to have, let's say, when you have a collision with object player, um, we're going to go to score. And then up here at the top, set score. We're going to set score to, well, we'll do 100 per coin. So we'll say 100. And since we want to add that 100, we're going to click relative, if you remember from the very beginning. So we're going to set the score relative to 100, which is going to add 100 to your score. And, oh yes, we also want to delete the coin after that so you don't get infinite money when you stand on the coin. So the coin works. Uh, that will work. But the thing is, we want to be able to see what our score is. So, create a new object. I'm going to call this object drawer. Now, this is basically an object that takes care of, it's an invisible object that takes care of all the stuff that no other object really does. So, I'm going to go add event, draw. Basically, it draws stuff. That's the only way to explain it. So, now I'm going to go to score. Click on, drag over the draw score option. And I'm going to draw it at. 0, 0, score. I, I can change this to like, oops. So this is, it will show this and then your score. So I'm going to change this to like, money or something. Because they have dollars on them. And we don't want to set this to relative. Because we want it to be in the upper left corner of the screen, or upper right, or whatever. You can play with these. Um, if you want it in the upper left, just keep it at 0, 0. Um, so now it's going to draw the value of the score. So now we're going to go into our room 0. We're going to select our coin here. And I'm just going to add in a few random coins, you know, like put them around the enemy so you kind of have to shoot the enemy to get to him. And I think that would be good. Oh, and yes, remember to put in your object drawer. It's, it's going to be just like a little in question mark thing. That's because it doesn't have a sprite. That's fine. Just put it somewhere where it's not going to really matter. And then click the check mark. And click the play button. So you can see up in the upper left corner, you can see your money being displayed. And uh, right now it's zero. So we're going to move our player around. We can shoot, remember, because we added that last tutorial. And we're just going to start collecting these coins. You can see our score is going up as we do that. Now it's at 400. Now it's at 800. Now we're going to have to conquer the red ball here to take out the, uh, get the coin. So kill the red ball, take the coins. So you can pretty much call this a game right here. Um, I think there's one more thing that we could add. That um, let's add a way, uh, let's add a way to get added a level. So we'll say new sprite, edit sprite, create new 32 by 32, and we're just gonna like take the text tool and we're gonna say exit. Now you can make this a door. You can make it like a passageway or whatever, but I'm just going to have a sign that says exit, because I am not good at sprites. So I'll just call this exit. Okay, now I'm going to create a new object, call it exit, select the exit sprite, and then I'm going to add event collision with player, and on the collision with player, I want to, let's see here, let's go to main one. Now on to next room. So basically, it's gonna go to the next room. Uh, whatever we can do, fade in, fade out, and fade in. I like that one. So now down here in our rooms, I'm gonna duplicate this room. So now I have a second level, and I'm just gonna you know, play around with it, make it so we can uh, um, 
you know, make it a little bit different. Just kind of add a little bit, add some round blocks here, you know. Put some of these. Put some of these uh, coins. Okay, so that's good. Um, now we're just gonna wanna add a few different coins in different places. You know? And since this is actually the second level, we don't want an exit door, but in our first level here, I'm gonna put our exit door like down here. And lastly, um, when the player dies, so remember if we go in here, a collision with enemy, instead of restarting the room, because that would make it say have infinite lives, I'm gonna delete the instance of the player, and then under score, here we go, I'm going to show the high scores. And this is good, whatever. So now we can just um, run our game and see what this looks like. So I'm going to go about here, you know, shoot this enemy, and we can collect our coins. And for that exit sign, you can make it a door or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be just a sign. Um, so we have all our coins collected, and now we're going to head over to the exit point here. And see, now we're in the second level. And just as an example of how you can lose the game, I'm going to I'm purposely attack the enemy. And see here, the game ends, and it says top 10 players. I'll say Matt, and then press escape to close, and the game's over. Then the person will have to restart the game. Now, the last thing you need to know if you want to publish your game is there's two different things you can do. You can hit this button right here. There's publish your finished game on the YoYo -Yo Games website, which some people will play it, but I'll put it on there anyway if you're going to sell it for free. I mean, give it away for free, not sell it for free. It's stupid. Um, or what you can do is you can create a standalone executable for your game. So I'll say, really simple test. And I'll just click save, and it will, and you can see that. And then if you go to your desktop, I get all my stuff out of the way. Well, whatever. But on your desktop, there will be there will be a .exe icon, which, in case you didn't know, is what's what runs something. So even if the person you give this .exe doesn't have Game Maker, they can still run it. It will completely run. They can't change your game at all. It's really good if you want to sell your game. You can give that away on discs and such. But that's basically how you create an extremely simple game and publish it to the world. And basically you can just work from there, and if you're interested, you can get GameMaker Pro and then watch our advanced tutorials, because we're going to be doing a series of advanced tutorials showing you how you can really speed up your workflow and such, um, and do a lot more advanced things with your game. So, thanks for watching, enjoy your game, make some cool ones. If it's really cool, you can submit it to us, and we will put it on our channel. So, that's about it for the simple tutorials, thanks for watching and have fun with Game Maker.